Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can fix connection failed error on 5M. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, on search, look for 5M. 5M, right click on it, open file location. Again, right click and open file location. Uh, and here, go to application data. Then you need to find logs and then delete everything here from logs. Then go to uh, crashes. If there is some files here as well, delete it uh, also. Then go to data, cache, delete everything from cache, then go to server cache, delete everything from here, then go to server cache proof, delete everything from here, right? And the next step what we need to do here, uh, again, we can go to 5M here, and then just copy the path, all right? Copy the path, then go to Windows Defender Firewall, Windows Defender Firewall, then select allow an app or feature to Windows Defender Firewall, and then change settings, uh, allow another app, browse, then here uh, paste the path and add exe file. If you're getting this error, uh, this means uh, it's already added, so you don't need to worry about it. Uh, then what you need to do here next is to go to virus and threat protection. Uh, then you need to go to virus and threat protection settings, then scroll down and uh, you'll see exclusions. Click on it. Uh, then add an exclusion, select folder, then here uh, also copy the path and uh, just hit enter, right? And select folder and add to exclusion list 5M folder. Uh, next thing what we need to do here, we need to open up CMD or command prompt, right click on it, uh, run as admin, super important to run CMD as admin. And then you just need to write IP config forward slash flush DNS and then write Nash winsock reset right uh, and after that restart your computer next thing you need to go to settings then you need to go to network and internet go to advanced network settings and then network reset and reset your network if you're using wi-fi you need to put your password again if you're using internet cable you don't need to do here nothing then go press again on network and internet uh, go to advanced network settings find your internet connection uh, go to more adapter options then double click on internet protocol version 4 uh, select use the following dns server addresses and now on preferred just write 8.8.8.8 .8 and on alternate write 8.8.4.4 apply the changes restart the computer and your problem should be fixed so yeah that's pretty much it